Well, hello again. Welcome to the second class of Budding Cooks. I hope you enjoyed last week's uh, class, and I apologize for all the technical difficulties. Uh, sometimes that happens. So, so this week we are going to talk about um, my plate and also uh, reading the food label that you find on products in the store. So we're going to start out with my plate and look at each one of the different categories. I know you've probably had this in school, but this is just going to be like a review. So uh, just uh, and remember, you know, to kind of uh, pay attention to your plate. Uh, this right here is the full my plate. And if you'll notice that half of your plate is uh, fruits and vegetables. So uh, it may be hard to get that, but that, that's a good guideline to go by. And of course, grains and proteins are on the other half and almost equal. Maybe the protein is a little bit less than the grains are. So, so looking at the grains part of my plate, uh, when you're eating uh, different grains, uh, grain products, Make sure that most of them are, or half of them at least, are whole grains. And grain products include uh, breads, rice, cereal, pasta, uh, crackers, um, bagels, and things like that. So make sure that, you know, you look and try to get at least half of your grain products uh, and make sure that they are whole. And you want to aim for three ounces of whole grains daily. The next part is the protein. So when you're looking at like meats and fish, poultry, beans, uh, legumes, and things like that, you want to make sure that they are lean. If you can remove, uh, move any of the visible fat from them, that is good too. Uh, just trim that off before cooking. So make it uh, twice a week. Make sure that the, you choose something from the seafood um, portion of the my plate. Um, vary your protein, don't get stuck on just, you know, just a few that you really like. Vary it. You can even include some of the legumes uh, like pinto beans or black eyed peas or even black, eyed, black pea beans um, and even chickpeas with your hummus. So uh, snacking is really good to have seeds uh, like nuts and things like that, sunflower seeds. Keep the meat and poultry portions of your meal small and lean. Uh, if you look at your palm of your hand, that should be the size of uh, the portion of your meat. Fruits, focus on fruits. Uh, make sure that you get a lot of different fruits in your diet each day and vary them. Uh, right now with a lot of fruits in season, you can choose from a wide variety of fruits. Uh, berries, blueberries and blackberries are really good. Uh, apples will be coming in season soon, so uh, enjoy those too. Fruit juice is, uh, is actually considered uh, part of the fruit uh, category, but it does not provide the fiber that the whole fruit or even the cut up fruit has, but you can still include that in your diet, but focus more on the whole or cut up fruits uh, more than your juice. Vegetables, especially in the summer, uh, again, just like with fruits, we uh, there's a lot of uh, different vegetables out there. So you can get just a wide variety of different vegetables to enjoy. Uh, aim for these amounts each week. With the dark green veggies, uh, aim for a half, uh, one half cup, uh, red and orange veggies, five and a half cups, beans and peas, one and one half cups, starchy vegetables, and that's like potatoes and uh, maybe corn get five cups of those each week and other veggies, four cups. So there's a lot of different uh, vegetables that are on the market now. And look for those when you go to the farmer's market this week and uh, see which one that you would like to try. 
dairy products. This is like milk and cheese. Uh, drink fat-free or low-fat milk. Um, we're all to the point where we don't need as much fat uh, from our dairy products. So look for those that are fat-free or low-fat 1%. Uh, select fat-free or low-fat yogurt and cheese, or even try some calcium-fortified soy products. That would be a way to get some good calcium uh, into your diet. So what foods do you like to eat that fits into each of the categories? On page two of the Teen Cuisine is um, an activity for you to do so that you can write down foods that you like in each of the categories uh, that uh, you would focus on trying to get more of the food, those foods into your diet. Here is something that is really handy. It's right size portions. Sometimes, you know, we don't have a measuring cup and, you know, our, the labels may say, you know, um, you know, a cup is a portion and everything but you do have the measuring cup in your hand. So um, two cup pans uh, is equal to one ounce. A thumbnail is a teaspoon. The palm of your hand is three to four ounces. And the whole thumb is one to two tablespoons. A fist is one cup. And then one cup pan is a half a cup. So think about these as you're looking at uh, different um, measuring and also this is really handy to uh, keep in mind. Reading the labels is very important too. Um, if we look at them, they have a lot of information on them. So uh, make sure that you take time to read the labels and find out all the information that is on the um, labels for what you're eating. So if you look right under nutrition facts, you've got um, this container has eight servings per container and the serving size is two thirds of a cup. So uh, uh, remember your fist is a cup. So just almost a fist uh, is uh, two thirds. Your calories uh, per serving is 230. It has eight grams of fat, which is 10% of the daily value that you should be um, getting. And saturated fat is 5%. It, it's one gram, but it's 5% of the daily value that uh, you get from this product. So we talked about 230 calories was in the one serving. There was eight grams of fat in one serving. But if you were really hungry and ate two servings of whatever this is, you would have to double that. So you would be getting 460 calories and eight grams of fat. So keep that in mind too, you know, when uh, you're looking at the labels and reading those. And if you're really hungry and eat more than uh, one serving of it. Fats is also an important nutrient. It helps to carry some of our vitamins throughout our body. So it's important to get some fat, but just remember that not all fats are the same. So monosaturated and polyunsaturated fats are the best. So look for those uh, on the label. And they would be listed here under the portion that says total fat. So this one has saturated fat. So that is the fat that we need to limit. And trans fat is zero. So that's good that it doesn't have any other trans uh, fats in it. Um, that's something that you want to avoid. Cholesterol is also another type of fat and this product uh, doesn't have any. So that is really good uh, in that. Um, so if you're looking at the cholesterol and sodium, which is listed here, those do add to the risk of some of the chronic diseases that uh, you hear a lot about in the news and in your health classes and probably some of your other classes too. Those can contribute to heart disease, 
some cancers in high blood pressure. So uh, make sure that you limit uh, those. Carbohydrates is, are another essential nutrient that we need to get in our uh, diet each day. And the, there's broken, those are broken down into three classes, fiber, starches, and sugars. But fiber is very good for us because it's very important that we get fiber in our diet so that that helps in proper elimination. Um, sugars, uh, you don't want that many sugars. Those are fast burning. So uh, when you're eating something that has a lot of sugar in it, uh, that is going to be uh, burn up first and you're not going to have a lot of energy. Starches is one that is going to stay with you longer. So if you play sports and everything before uh, practice or before uh, participating in any of your sports, make sure that you eat um, more of the starches than sugars. That way that you have more energy to last throughout the game. Then down below, uh, there's protein. Protein is very another important uh, nutrient. And that is, uh, they are considered the building blocks of our bodies. So if we get hurt or bruised or anything, those proteins are gonna kick in and start helping to build and repair those body tissues. So make sure that you get uh, protein in your diet. And those are gonna come from like your meats and fish, poultry, beans and uh, nuts and seeds. Then one of the last one is ingredients. This is the list of all of the ingredients that's found in the product. So they're listed in the order of the most down to the least. So this product has uh, the number one ingredient is vegetable oil. And that could be corn oil, soy bean, sunflower, safflower, and or cottonseed oil. Then it has tapioca starch, corn, sugar, salt, and then some other things there. So, but just remember when you read that label, whatever is listed first is going to be the ingredient that is found most in that product. So you don't want to... Um, sugar is way down here and that is really good. Salt is down on the list also. You just wouldn't want to get a product, especially if you're looking at cereal, that has sugar listed first. So remember that they are from the most to the least in amounts. Here are some terms that you need to be aware of and you can find these in the list of the ingredients. You want to avoid uh, or be aware of partially hydrogen um, hydrogenated oils, high fructose corn syrup, sucrose, maltose, and dextrose. So those uh, last four are on uh, forms of sugar. So if those are listed first in your uh, ingredients, you want to avoid those because you know that that's going to be have a lot of sugar in it. So uh, we're going to talk a little bit about nice skills, and I know that Betsy will be showing you some in her demonstration of your, uh, your dish today, which uh, is tomatoes and green beans. But here is a video that uh, I would like for you to watch. This is uh, one on knife skills, and it gives some pointers and shows you how to use the different knives. So you want to watch that just so that you become more familiar with the different knives and uh, how to use them. So if you have questions, remember to send them to me. This is my email address. Um, you know, if you have questions or comments or anything like that, uh, I look forward to hearing from you with that. Don't forget to send in your photos of you cutting the vegetables for the green beans and tomatoes recipe and your finished product. I want to see how it looks. Submit your farmer's market scavenger hunt. You didn't get one in last week's, but you will be getting one this week. And make sure to have your farmer's market passport stamp. You, again, you didn't get that in your bag last week, but you will be getting it this week. So uh, have someone um, 
at the farmer's market, maybe at the information booth to stamp uh, your passport. So I hope that you're enjoying the class and uh, enjoying the recipes and the produce that we've been sending for you. So have a good week and happy hunting at the farmer's market.